Hello friends and welcome to a new video. My name is Nikon and every week on this channel we talk about filmmaking, video production, acting, DaVinci Resolve and how to be more productive, more consistent and more efficient making videos for YouTube. But not only, today I'm going to show you a very cool and easy way of making proxies in DaVinci Resolve 18 and it's probably the best way of creating proxies in the entire industry. I'm not even joking, it's absolutely phenomenal. Let's get straight into it. Right, once you are into the computer, assuming you know how to use DaVinci Resolve 18, you open your project and you wait for your footage to be important. Absolutely amazing. So, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to uh, use RAW files. Here we are, RAW files, and I'll show you here, this RAW file has 22 gigabytes and this one has 24 gigabytes. No way any computer is going to play back this smoothly. That's why we need to create uh, proxies. So, for this you have to go into the applications there and find the Blackmagic proxy generator, okay? Open it. Easy way. So. Um, don't bother about this, just cancel it and then you will be presented with this window over here. Now, Blackmagic Proxy Generator is an awesome app, is one of the best in the industry. So here what you have to do, you have to show Blackmagic where are the raw files or where are the files you want to make proxies from. So um, don't worry about this, just leave it uh, 264, H264 format, 8-bit is absolutely fine. Uh, 1080p. I think this is the best uh, resolution for most of you, unless you're using a, um, a Apple computer with a M2 Max or whatever. But don't bother. H.264, 8-bit is perfect for everyone. Right. So now we're going to add the folder. So add the folder. Now I'm going to go to my raw clips original over here, and you see here are my two clips, and I click open. Once I clicked open. Um, this is uh, showing me a waiting status over there. Now I have to click start. Right, start and by magic the computer is going to create the proxies for me. Remember, those files were 22 gigabytes and 24 gigabytes. And look how fast this creates the proxies. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, we'll be waiting for this uh, to finish, uh, but in, in the meantime, uh, this is um, called a watch folder. So every single time you will be uh, adding a clip to this folder over here, the one you've selected, um, DaVinci Resolve or Blackmagic is going to automatically create a proxy in this folder over here. Uh, did you see that? So if I go to my folder with raw clips originals, just over here, I double tap it and I see automatically it's been created um, uh, the proxies. So 44, 45 gigabytes <laughs> created in 35 seconds. It's insane so fast. Anyway, it depends on your computer and your power. I'm using an M2 Max, so that's why it probably is that fast. Uh, but I still uh, want to create uh, proxies. So, here they are uh, now and the job is completed and then you can add as many folders um, uh, to a Blackmagic proxy generator and automatically every single time you add um, uh, files here they will uh, it will be uh, created in their proxies so you have to stop now the process so the app won't be searching constantly for new files to be um, uploaded so so once it's done, just close this application and then we need to go into DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to Add Media. So let me go to my uh, folder over here, uh, right, uh, desktop, where's my file? So I'm going to just uh, drag my whole clip with the original and proxies in here, change frame resolution, boom, and by magic they've been added just over here, just like that, simple. and. Uh, in order to know if the files contain proxies, you just have to look here. You see this uh, camera over there and this uh, film strip? It means that um, your proxy has been created. Very important now, please guys, make sure the playback, go to playback, make sure that you choose prefer proxies because if you will choose disable all proxies, have a look what's happening. Just look here what's happening when I choose disable all proxies. Have a look there. Boom. You see? This strip over here disappeared. 
So make sure you go to playback, proxy handling, and you prefer proxies. Boom. Here they are. The proxies are created and you can edit using the proxies now. Right, so you drag these files into your timeline, the ones you would like to work with. So this is a uh, short film I shot for my uh, good friend and great actor, Ator, a uh, great Spanish actor. Um, and I'm, I'm using here a Canon R5C raw footage, 8K, insane. And the playback in proxies, Smooth, smooth, incredible. Here we are. I mean, it's just it's just incredible. So this is uh, the simple way of making uh, proxies in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, one more in uh, great thing of, about DaVinci Resolve is then when you go to export uh, your footage, then you have to go here uh, to advanced uh, settings. And then um, don't worry when you will export your, your project, you see here, use proxy media, then automatically this is not uh, toggled on. If you'd like to export the proxy media, then you can toggle this on. But uh, uh, the beauty of uh, DaVinci Resolve 18 is that you don't have to worry about uh, proxies. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, showing what to export, not to export. DaVinci Resolve knows when you want to export a project, then obviously you are going to use the original media, not the proxies. Obviously, when you when you have to go to um, uh, color page, you know, you will have, if you really want to, just uh, go over here, playback, proxy handling, and then you do disable all proxies, and then you can, you know, do some um, um, uh, color processing and all that stuff. Um, so I think it's better to use, um, for the color page, it's better to use uh, the original media, but when you want to playback, obviously you switch to prefer proxies. It's the better way. I mean, obviously it depends on what sort of projects are you working on. So that's it, really. And this is it, guys. This is such a great way of creating proxies and how to deal with them. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's by far the easiest way of dealing with proxies. Um, as I know, uh, Final Cut Pro, it's a mess. Uh, Premiere Pro, I've heard that it's quite tricky to do uh, proxies there, but DaVinci Resolve, it's so, so easy. It's great. Friends, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it. And if you did, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and it motivates me to create even more cool features and cool videos like that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you being here. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and happy creation. Bye-bye.